Overseas now in the United States is reviewing its weapons package to Israel after confirmation it paused one bomb shipment last week over Israel's offensive in southern Gaza. Israel is moving forward with its operation, with tanks seen firing in the direction of the densely packed city of Rafah. Several children were taken to hospital, with residents saying they were hit by Israeli shelling. We were walking and a shell landed on us. We're in the middle of Rafah. The artillery hit us and a belt of fire and missiles targeted us today. And with your eyes, you saw them, all children. No one was military or had anything to do with a political party. The RDF has released video it says shows its troops on the ground in Rafah. The border crossing to Egypt there remains closed after the Israeli army captured the main entry point for humanitarian aid. In Washington, the US Defence Secretary says the delay in near-term security assistance to Israel was due to unfolding events in southern Gaza. Israel shouldn't launch a, a major attack in Rafah without accounting for uh, and protecting the civilians that are in that battle space. Uh, and, and again, as we have uh, assessed the situation, uh, we paused one shipment of high, high uh, uh, payload uh, munitions um, and, uh, and again, I, I think we've also been very clear about uh, the steps that we'd like to see uh, uh, Israel take to, to account for and take care of those civilians before uh, major combat uh, takes place. Rafah has been a refuge for about half of Gaza's population of 2.3 million people trying to flee Israel's campaign to seek out and destroy Hamas. While the Rafah border crossing is closed, the Israeli military says the nearby Kerem Shalom access point has reopened following a rocket attack. Israeli officials are playing down the US shipment delay. The aid is unprecedented. The operational partnership is significant. When there are disputes, and there are, they are being resolved behind closed doors in a matter-of-fact way. We are responsible for the security interests of the State of Israel, and we are attentive to the interest of the United States in the region. On the Egyptian side of the border with Gaza, there are long lines of trucks packed with essential supplies destined for Gaza. The World Food Programme says the offensive in Rafah adds to an already dire situation for hundreds of thousands of Palestinians displaced by the war. People are uh, you know, sleeping and camping on the streets, on the sidewalks, uh, and it's uh, people everywhere. And to have a military operation in that environment uh, is going to have a serious toll on, on the civilian population. But also our uh, humanitarian operation, and not only ours, uh, the entire humanitarian system has been based out of Rafah. Talks to broker a ceasefire are continuing in Egypt. Hamas has agreed to one proposal, but Israel says it falls short of its demands. The families of about 130 Israeli hostages still held by Hamas and other militants in Gaza want the Israeli government to agree to the plan to secure their release. For us, every minute that, that uh, there's a little bit hope, sometimes it makes it even harder because you allow yourself to, to hope and then you fall again because again it's, it fails. So it's like a roller coaster. It's really, really uh, emotional and uh, ups and downs.